Hello everybody, I hope that you're having a wonderful day. My name is Amanda Zitto, and today, instead of just doing a normal time lapse, I thought that I would take this opportunity to talk to you a little bit about the materials that I use when I'm just working in my sketchbook. So let's just move this stuff out of the way a little bit. So we'll start with my favorite pencil case. Since I travel a lot, I normally want something that's gonna have enough space to carry everything that I need in one place and keep it well organized so that it's not jangling about and getting everything really filthy. And I got this pencil case from Art Snacks. It was a special edition for Inktober. And you can see I keep my pens on this side, my Pentelic illustration pens and my Microns, and then I keep my pencils and things that I sketch with over here, and then normally my water brushes are hanging out in there. And then it has these nice little pockets. I always keep chapstick in my pencil case, and then erasers and my loose pencil sharpener and then my little watercolor palette, and then a glass pencil sharpener because I just love this pencil sharpener so much. <laughs> it like has to go with me. Next, we're gonna take a second and talk about my favorite sketchbook one I'm on the go is my Pentalic Aqua Journal. This is the square version. You can see it already has a few pieces from my travels in it. Um, I love this sketchbook because it's nice and compact and it's easy to take on the go. It also has a nice convenient little bookmarker so that you can flip straight to whatever spot in the sketchbook you're at. I always travel with water brushes. It's just the most convenient, especially when I can't take this little jar of water with me. I always have a handful of microns. The thing that I've been using the most for sketching lately are these Prismacolor Color Erase pencils, specifically the Tuscan Red one, the brown, and a couple of the blue ones, but especially this Tuscan Red. It's my favorite color to sketch in. I also picked myself up a couple of these silver black velvet brushes. They're really convenient because the brush folds into itself. Moving on to my little palette here. I just got this palette off of Amazon. It's just like one of those cheap, like under $20 palettes. And I just bought some of the empty meat and half pans. And half of this palette is Daniel Smith colors, and half of it is Sennelier colors. And so far, this color set has just been perfect for me. And then my little tri-tip eraser. I really love this eraser. I think it's like General's tri-tip eraser or something like that. And last but not least, my little water dish, which is actually a artichoke heart jar. You can see in the bottom there, I have a little sucker that sticks to the bottom that makes cleaning my brushes way easier. I'll have all of these products listed in the description so you can go and check them out. And without further ado, let's get to that time lapse. 